Hi there, this is Bridget from the Planner Speechy. Welcome to my channel. This is the very first memory planning spread that I am filming and I'm very excited to share it with you. I have a brand new planner that's just for memory keeping and I thought I would share it with you today. So just really quickly, this is the memory spread that I did um, for the first week of January. I think it came out really, really well. This is a kit from Charlotte Paper Company. I believe it's called um, Cozy. And it's just a very, very, it's a nice blend. I used some of my own photographs within the system. So I really love how this came out and I'm so excited to keep going with it. So today I'm going to be using another Charlotte's Paper Company kit. This is called Huga. And um, it, I just love all these images and the soft blues and the little bit of the pop of like pumpkin. It's just so soothing and nice. I'm also going to be using this foiled overlay in silver. And I just think this is so perfect for this kit. It's very, <laughs> it's a very deluxe kit for only being a couple of sheets. Um, I do have some additional photographs that I have cut out and printed for myself. And of course, I'm going to be using all of my extras um, from my stash. So one thing I'm going to do just right off the bat, you'll notice that this is a color. Actually, it's a flower um, EC planner. And because of that, there are colors throughout the book. And uh, I actually like that. I think it makes it a little bit different from my regular planner. It also lends itself to just being a more um, intricate and interesting space. So one of the things that I did, and of course now I'm having trouble finding it, so hold on. All right, I'm back. So <laughs> I did cut these sticker sheets. It's just regular sticker paper, and I'm just going to lay them um, right on top of this bottom so that I can lay this washi down. Because it's sheer, it doesn't have any kind of, um, it doesn't have anything underneath it, so I wanted to make sure that that was highlighted and it didn't have all these little lines on the bottom. So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm just going to proceed and start planning. So I will come back in a voiceover and explain my process and what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so just getting started, I wanted to put the bottom stickers here just to cover up those colors because unlike the week before where I didn't have anything there, this time I have actual washi to go on the bottom. So I wanted to make sure that that was covered up. I kind of messed this up a little bit. Um, even when I was cutting it, you can see the black lines I had to white out on the bottom. So it ended up being a little bit more work than I anticipated, but I generally like this idea because it means that it's just one fell swoop and then you're done. Um, this is an incredible overlay. You can get it at Charlotte's Paper Company in different foils for different kits. It doesn't necessarily have to match this kit, but I thought it was so perfect that it just worked. But you can definitely get this overlay and use it with any other kit ever. The other thing I did was I took advantage of these color blocked headers and I decided to put the foil overlay just right on the top. And that way I didn't have to use any of the headers on top and I could just make it sort of shimmer a little bit. And because the blue happened to match the kit that I was working with. So that really worked out well. Um, and it was just so pretty. So then I opted to do the date covers. Normally I don't like the, the vertical design that's going on a horizontal <laughs> layout, but this one actually was fine. It was very minimal, so it didn't matter. Um, but then I used date dots from a different Charlotte's Paper Company kit that I'd saved, which just goes to show, you know, save your stickers. Just save your stickers. They will come in handy eventually. I'm sorry that the top is a little bit cut off, but it looks exactly the same all the way across the top. So then I tried to sort of figure out where I wanted to place my actual photographs so that I could map out where I wanted my other stuff to go. Um, I ended up 
mashing it at the bottom of the square and not the top. Um, and so there's just a little bit of white in between, and I think that's fine. Um, but some people might want to do it the opposite. You might want to go from top to bottom rather than top to top. Um, I just thought these were all so cute. I ended up using the them all. I used all the pictures. And I had to trim down my photographs. So I use an HP sprocket to print my photographs. It's, a, it's an inkless printer. I have no idea how it works. But the images come out on this sticky paper on the back. So you, they're very easy to use in journals. I know people have an easier time using these for, um, what is it, like a big happy planner, maybe? Because the boxes fit a little bit better. But this is what I ordered, so this is what I had. I put the cat on top of the cushions because that's where my cat would want to go. I put the books overlay over the person reading. And then the third overlay I decided to um, put on top of the socks. And it just looked perfect. It was so perfect. Um, so I ended up using the majority of those foiled kits. And then I did a little weekend sticker right across those things here. So again, because this is a very different kind of planner than my regular planner, I wanted to make sure that I was including my thoughts and feelings. So I took a little bit more time. There were some things that were considered events, quote unquote, and so I tried to block those off using the flags that I had just to break up the space. Although I think in the future what I want to do is journal and then put the flags down because I ended up, you know, not having as much room to journal as I wanted and that's not the point of having this planner. So uh, something for me to think about in the future. But um, yeah, so this was a really significant week. This was my last full week in Brooklyn before we moved. It was also the week of the Capitol insurrection um, by the terrorists on Wednesday. I was studying for the Praxis exam, which is the required exam for speech language pathologists if you want to get licensed. It is typically done towards the end of your master's program. So I was working on that and uh, this week and a lot of it got a lot of my studying got disrupted um, so I did zoom in a little just so you could see the writing a little bit more clearly I had to pay for my Gallaudet course I took a course um, in ASL 1 finger spelling um, via the internet <laughs> and it was a really cool course I highly recommend it but this was the day that the um, uh, bill was due so that was what I put in um, essentially, I spent most of this week studying and sort of tying up loose ends. So it was a very emotional week for me, just coming to grips with the fact that I was actually moving out of the place that I'd lived my whole life. Um, the movers came on this Tuesday. So the Monday before, I spent all night packing. I think we were up until almost one in the morning, packing everything away, making sure that we didn't forget anything. We had a U-Haul come and take away our boxes um, and drive it up separately, which was really, really nice. Uh, great service and worked perfectly for us. So I'm sorry you can't see the top of that. Um, on Tuesday in the morning, I went out and I bought coffee and water and, you know, stuff for the movers just as a nice gesture and they ended up taking some of it which was great but then we had all this leftover coffee uh, which we consumed for the rest of the week so that was good um, I remember that pra studying for the praxis felt really really hard just because the house looked so empty and it was so hard to think about the fact that we were moving um, so I did have my last aphasia group session um, with um, the International Aphasia um, Association. It was really lovely to get to see those people. And um, my supervisor from my 
fluency placement was generous enough to let me observe. So that's why I was there. It was really nice. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, we also gave Vinny his meds to sort of help with the trip. And that was strange because we didn't notice anything different because he's a cat. So, <laughs> And then, of course, the insurrection happened. So we had the news on all day. We, I was trying to focus and concentrate. The picture on the back, you'll see Vinny was looking at the screen and scratching at Mitch McConnell as he was trying to continue the vote that they had been that had been interrupted by the terrorists earlier in the day. So the whole thing was such a surreal and crazy day. Um, and it continued into the next day. And the next day, obviously, this was the big news story. Everybody was talking about it. At this point, Trump was kicked off of Twitter. People were um, trying to get him out of office. I was just like in a daze. You know, we had all of our stuff was gone. I was trying to study for the praxis. We had all kinds of things happening. I was able to study with a friend, which really helped me focus. Highly recommend that for those of you who are preparing for the praxis. Study with your friends because they will help you um, and you will help them. And it's a mutually beneficial agreement. So I spent a lot of time talking to my mom on the phone because <laughs> she, she was obsessed with the news that day. So I did take a mock praxis on the Friday. This was my last mock praxis, and I did the best that I had done on any of the previous practice tests. So I felt really confident for, to take my test the following Monday. Um, and I just, I had this extra little sort of to-do thing, so I just put that in. I'm sorry that everything is so cut off. It's such a bummer. Um, it was my best friend's daughter's first birthday party so she did it through zoom it was super cute she did a cake smash they got a cake and then basically put the baby in front of it to see what the baby would do it was so sweet and then I had my last session with my fluency kids and I you know was sad to see them all go I mean they're still doing it but I I'm not doing it with them anymore um we also walked to the bank to deposit literally hundreds of dollars that I had rolled and changed that day um and getting this money to the bank because it was probably about 50 pounds was insane. It, it took a wheelie backpack and two trips, but it was worth it because we got all this money deposited and it basically helped pay for our move. Um, so this was my last day to study for the praxis uh, because I took the whole day off on Sunday, the day before a test, you're not supposed to study. And that was what I chose to do. Um, just marking. I had a happy hour scheduled, but it was canceled. Um, this is my girlfriends in, in high school. Uh, I was really, really bummed about that, but not be, not mad at them, just like bummed in general. It had nothing to do with them specifically. I always get bummed when things like that get canceled because it makes me really, really sad. I take it to heart. Um, so we packed and repacked and packed and repacked and Oh, it was crazy. And then on Sunday, I went to my parents' house because I was going to take the Praxis walking distance from their apartment in a facility. So I gave myself the day off. I got to spend time with my family. We watched Soul on Disney+. Plus. It was so good. Made It was the perfect movie for us to watch. It made me feel good. It made me feel confident. I loved it. Highly, highly recommend. I ran a couple of errands in the morning. That's what you can't see right now. But I did take a taxi um, to my parents' house and got to walk around Brooklyn Heights a little bit for one last time before um, I knew it was going to be kind of the last time that I was doing this before we moved. So it was a very emotional day, but a good time with my family, and I just loved it. So... Anyway, yeah, so I'm branching out a little bit, so let me see. Oh, now everyone will be able to see. So usually the sidebar is where I do a lot of tracking. So I just put, in summation, these were all the things I did. I studied, I packed, I saw some friends, I had some New York City pizza, and then 
just sort of ruminated on the week in general and gave myself a little bit of journaling time. And then I go ahead and added an extra header just to separate the words from the image. And then I'll come back to you in normal speed so you can see the whole thing. All right, so this is my full week in my memory planner. Look how full and lovely it is. I love all of my handwriting and um, I just love the way this came out. I have to add one sticker, which I uh, left in the other room, so I'm not even going to attempt to go get it. But as you can see, these mini kits, really perfect for memory, memory planning because the majority of your of your memory plan, or at least the way I'm doing it, is words. So, I mean, I think these two things complement each other really, really well. I only had two pictures this week. I only had two pictures last week. The next week, I'm going to have a lot more pictures. Here's a sneak peek of one of them. Um, so, it really just depends on the week. I'm, try I'm going to probably in the future try not to use these photograph kits if I have a lot of photographs, because then it'll, you know, it'll cloud it. But I just wanted to show you, so this, this is what my week looked like for the week um, when I did it. As the week carried on, you can see it's all filled with different little things that I was studying. And um, I did try and sort of report things that were happening. But this is a much better reflection of how I was feeling, what was really going through my mind, and what was important to me on that day. And it's amazing how much I can remember, even though it was only two months ago. Um, so I think it'll be even stronger when I finally catch up to my current week, uh, which is, um, let's see, uh, it's this week. So I have another <laughs> um, six weeks before I'm even caught up, and I'm gonna try and do a little bit at a time, maybe one a day for the next couple of weeks. but. Anyway, it's it's really, this is so much fun. I highly recommend memory planning. I'm going to keep this for a very long time. And I don't think I showed you the cover, but this is the cover. I had it um, personalized for me. I chose a different foil um, coil so that I would be able to just pull the right planner out. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do with the monthly calendar yet. I think maybe... What I'll do is I'll fill in these weeks and then I'll go back in and maybe do something with this. But I'm not going to use kits for these months because I have a design here. So there's no need for it. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll tune in again. Take care. Bye.